This is ESPN Esports. I'm Ardo Cal here with Hex, who is the CEO of the Chicago Huntsman. Very happy as his team defeated the Dallas Empire by Very score three to one. Uh, just take us through the matchup. Uh, well, we knew that we were going to come out hot. Uh, obviously, we have super, super good slayers on the team. I was a little bit concerned about the search and destroy. The only practice that these guys have had on Search and Destroy was playing with the Old Men of Optic, which is pretty much me and two other old dudes. Yeah. And it was only formal <laughs> and scum. So we knew that they were not well equipped for that. Uh, teams don't often play S&D against each other because that's the only game mode in which you can truly find out people's tendencies and this, that, and the other. Now, when it comes to spawning, spawn modes, then obviously respawns makes it a lot easier for you to know how they break off. But once it breaks off, you still have to shoot them down, you still have to gun them down. So uh, I was confident that we were going to win the response. I was a little bit iffy on the on the, uh, on the the S&Ds, but it, it came, the, the, the victory was we knew what we knew we were going to have, so we did. You and Hastro obviously have a long history together. How do yeah. you feel about the new E Classico, as people are calling it? Um, it's all right. You know, uh, obviously it's, it's he, he's been such a good friend of mine for a long, long time, so it's, it's always tough to, to um, to sort of talk shit like the way that you want to because he's a, he's a friend and you don't want to sure. throw the dagger. Uh, so, yeah, the E-Classic goes dope, still alive and kicking. Will it be more weird to face Optic in, in, later on this weekend? No, not what, at all. Have you, have you thought about that? Like, what will that feel like for you? It won't feel like anything. It's just another team. Really? Yeah, really. It's, uh, it's, not what, it's not what it once was, so it's not what it is. The soul of it is no longer there, therefore it's not what it represents. You on one side, seeing the logo on the other side, you having built that. No, I mean, I, I know what I built, yes. you know, I know what my thing represented. That's not what's up there, it's just another team. Very interesting. Well, part of what you did build is part of this team right now, Scump Informal. Well, look, I got two big brands up there now, you know, yeah. I got Huntsman and the old one, so it's, it's it feels good to be that good. Let me ask you this, uh, leading up, uh, you were heavily involved in a video series promoting the opening weekend, right? And a uh, lot I was, of the, I was an executive producer. You're an executive producer of it. Yeah. You were very heavily and I, involved. And, and in we have Gary V. Well. Come on in. Come on in. Give us some inspiration. No, no, no. Don't no. interrupt. No, no, no. Impressive first win. It's fine. It's going to look like that for the rest of the season. It was okay. It was incredible. It was average. That was, according to a lot of people, the number one team in the world. And we just three now, won them. Preseason ratings mean nothing. Now listen. Right, you, which is why season one ratings do, and three yeah. won them. You guys are good. You guys are good friends now, yes. but you will be bitter enemies when you have your showcase match. Can you give us a little bit of trash talk here? How are we feeling going into this ma big matchup? The only trash talk I have for Gary is that the, that the show that he makes, where he sells shit that he buys in garage sale, is super dope. <laughs> and that's as far as Look, I go with trash talk. This, this guy, this guy is the legend, the OG. Like I, I love. I mean, if you there was as much admiration for him when they won that match than even the guys that put it on the field. So, from my standpoint, I have nothing but respect. But yes, like like anything, like, my brother's my favorite person on earth, but when we play Monopoly, I want to fight. <laughs> and that's the way it's always going to be. You do your thing. All right, we'll get that's Gary V later. Back to Hex, though. Uh, Scump Informal in that series, at least part of it, maybe for dramatic effect, maybe for the cameras, whatever it that is, was you real. can tell us is, okay, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Is there still unfinished business there? I, I don't know. All I know is that you know my I, I make it a point to to my players that the talking that they're gonna do needs to be backed up. So if I, if they're not prepared to guarantee a win on the backs of talking shit, then they don't get to talk smack. So they okay. they build it up, they build it, up, they hold it in, they harness the power, and then the second that that W hits, it's unleashed, and that's what happened. What about the relationship between Scump and Formal? Uh, it's it's like they never separated. It's uh, it's it's back to the old days. Uh, one little brother trying to make the older brother, and I don't know. I, I mean, I think I think they're the same age. If I think Scump might be older, but uh, he still plays the little brother persona really well. Formal's just so cool of a guy, so chill, so relaxed that you know, as funny as he is, he likes to be made made laugh more. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. We try to make Formal laugh. How has it been as a CEO, like, you know, the new partnership with NRG? How has the, the last few months been for you? Uh, it's been a learning experience. You know, I've, I've never had to be in a, in a place where what I say doesn't go, right? It's, it's more of a partnership now. And me and Andy bouncing ideas off each other is super, super. I, I'm, I'm really grateful for it, man. Like, uh, having an experienced businessman like him teaching me the way of the real business world is, is, is super, super cool for me. Uh, aside from that, 
He calls me a nerd like three times a, a day. I don't know if he's seen what I look like and what he looks like, but I get called a nerd or a dork like three times a day. So I, I couldn't have picked a better partner. I find that hard to believe since you're wearing that bling. You can't be a nerd if you're wearing bling That's what like I that. keep telling him. <laughs> Uh, a couple of news items before we let you go. Uh, YouTube is the exclusive home now yeah. for Call of Duty League, also overwatching, but just give us your thoughts on that. Well, uh, YouTube, everybody knows that YouTube's going to be the winner at the end of all this. Who's going to really? win the streaming war? YouTube well, is. Why do you say that? Well, they have the biggest uh, footprint on anything that has to do with video games and music and, I mean, you name it, right? So it's, it's a matter of them tweaking stuff around that will make the user experience a lot better. Uh, the user interface needs a little bit of tweaking in the chat thing. And like anything else, you get so used to one thing with Twitch and with Mixer, which are both incredible platforms, by the way. Uh, and, and they have good interaction with, with, uh, with the fans. But, you know, YouTube is YouTube. You know, they're, they're a very humble startup and their parent company is also a very humble startup. Yeah, sure. uh, not only that, but they have uh, Ryan Wyatt there, which is uh, a good friend of mine. So obviously take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt, but he knows what he's doing and like they just use the f word on espn um but yeah he knows what he, he he knows what he's doing so i'm very confident in the fact that he's gonna lead us in the right direction last question for you just take us uh, what can you tell us about your chicago home series uh that it's gonna be incredible if uh we've we've had incredible ticket sales so far i don't know the number as of today but we've had a really you know great success in in, in putting butts in seats uh the only thing that i'm doing now is is trying to convince the overseas fans of uh of the old to come and check us out and i do have that anybody that comes from from europe or from wherever i'm gonna personally take them to go out on a dinner to portillo's on me nice so hopefully it's not more than 100 people but if it is andy's gonna help me we'll be fine <laughs> nice guy hex now that gary v's gone you're gonna crush him right I, I, don't, I don't even know who's on his team. Besi <laughs> besides Midnight, I don't know who's on his team. Fair enough. Hex joining us here on ESPN Esports. Thanks for your time. You got it.